you to everyone for attending today. Uh, we worked out for a really long time on this project. So it's uh, with great pleasure and delight that we are here and we welcome you over today. Well, HG Holdings formed the foundation um, as a result of uh, trying to uh, centralize all of the activities in the ongoing expansion. So all of our businesses were conducting corporate social responsibility related activities but uh, we thought that it was time to uh, centralize that to become more specialized in what we do and also to give us a greater focus and to help um, uh, make sure that sustainability and responsible tourism is at the heart of uh, all of our decision making processes and uh, as well as planning processes. People believe that conservation is focused primarily on plants and animals and things like that. It's true, it is, but that's a limited understanding. Thank you very much for each and one of you to actually attend today and uh, join us for the uh, welcome uh, uh, and the launch of the uh, Save the Cat for Lango campaign. I think uh, uh, the people in Katba, uh, until now, they have not recognized uh, the importance of the Lango. But with this concert, uh, conservation, I hope that every people, they will rely on the importance of the langur. One of them, of course, is that the langur is a unique species. It's only found in a very limited, small area, only on Cat Island itself. As I mentioned before, conservation is really about people. And this ties in the environmental side of things with the people side of things and brings it together and allows us to work on the biodiversity and conservation of the entire island, and not just in one particular focus. One of the difficult things if you're trying to conserve a species is that you really have to protect its habitat. You cannot protect the individual organism. It has to be the place that animal lives or the plant lives and what we are able to do there. Obviously the most important things with that sort of thing are education and teaching people about environmental responsibility and how even small actions what they do with their water bottles, what they do with their cigarette butts, what they do with the plastic bags they get from goods, what happens to those and where those go, and treating those, taking care of those afterwards in a responsible way. Those are some of the most important things to do, but they are also the things that take the longest because they require a change in perception and change of understanding. One of the big problems we have is that languages currently are fragmented. They're not all together in the island, they're in different areas. And we need to develop a realistic and Portable plan, which involves getting them together again to increase their numbers for breeding. I think there are a number of things that we want to achieve. The first thing is we want to raise awareness of the critically endangered status of the species. The more people know about it, the more likely we are to have a legislative impact or a legislative decision to support the conservation. And this is very important because. Uh, we have uh, an organization like the Catalan Group Conservation Project on the other side we've got a business that are now partnering up to try and uh, raise and promote this awareness. But we also need uh, a higher level of input and participation from the local government to uh, help us facilitate that. And then the second one is also to uh, help raise funds for the conservation project. Uh, I think uh, it's very important for businesses to, to contribute to the environments where they're working from. It's very important for businesses to have a sustainable and responsible approach. And the more businesses focus on this and the more they partner with the uh, institutional partners like the Lincoln Conservation Project, I think uh, the better chance we have of uh, ensuring that the species survive and that it's uh, protected and uh, they could be showcased for generations to come.